Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give the glory to Almighty God, the Father and the Son. This is another day that God has given to us. May his name be exalted and praised in Jesus Christ, your mighty name. Amen. I welcome the viewers of Prophet Kanewu this morning. I greet you in the name of the Father and the Son for availing yourself to listen to end time prophet. May God bless you. Amen. Beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, you alone is worthy. You have given us this day. We appreciate you. We thank you for the bread because you control life. And without you, Spirit of God, we cannot make it. You alone have wake us up. It is an honor and privilege to come before you to pray because you are answer prayer God. Take absolute control for your message. I am nothing but a filthy clay before you. Spirit of God, speak through me and let your message come like a fire to quench our test. May your name be praised, Holy One, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for another day like this. And without wasting time, God has given us a message. And we are the message is taken from the book of John, the Gospel of Saint John. It's John 6, 37. Let us hear the word of God. And I read. John 6, 37. All that the Father gave me shall come to me. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. And him that come to me, I will in no wise cast out. 37. For I came from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will, which has sent me, that of all which has given me, I shall lose nothing, but shall raise it up again at the last day. Hallelujah. 40. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone we see the Son and believe on him, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Hallelujah. Beloved, the title of the message is Christ is the everlasting life. And that's why the last verse says, I will raise him up at the last day that Christ alone has the everlasting life. Hallelujah. Jesus is calling each and everyone that accept him and believe in him from darkness to the light. That is salvation. Hallelujah to mankind as he is the savior. Two, it's by loving the Lord with our hearts, you and I, our soul, our mind, and with our strength. Three, it's a relationship and fellowship with Christ. 
example, in life, if someone calls you, you must respond to hear the purpose of the call. And that person will narrate the reason of the call. So Christ, our savior, our king, our Lord is calling everyone. It is a choice to accept his call. Hallelujah. Let us see John 3, John 6, 38. As it says, for I came from heaven not to do my own will, but he, but the will of him who sent me. Beloved here, Christ is the only one that the Father has sent to us to deliver us. We all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God due to the sin in the garden because of the deception the devil did to us, mankind. Hallelujah. We continue with 39, 639, John 639. And this is the Father's will. When this is the Father's will, which has sent me, that all which had given me, I shall lose nothing, but shall raise it up at the last day. Here, only Christ have the everlasting life. It's through only Christ our Lord. He alone went to the cross and pay for our sin. Only Jesus forgives sin and cleanse us from our sin. Only Christ saved. What a lovely God Almighty. As a love for his children, he is a wonderful, marvelous God. Here, beloved, we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. We thank him for his wonderful love. I will sing a song to glorify our maker. And the song goes like this. Bless assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Heads of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washes his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all day is long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. All day is long. Hallelujah. Today, my voice is not acting right, but we give all the glory to God. Beloved, in Christ, how can we neglect this great gift from God Almighty through his son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit? We appreciate him. He is a wonderful, loving God. Let us serve him in sincere and in truth. We give him 
all his thanks. We give him all his glory and we honor him. Hallelujah. Let us continue to John, the same book of John and the verses 12. John chapter 12, rather, and the verses 32. Beloved, let us hear the word of God. John 12, 32. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I, if I will be lifted from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. Our Lord is telling us he will draw all men. He is a faithful God. Our Savior, if he draw all men to himself, that is a peace. We will have peace in our heart. That is forever and forever. That means we will be with him in heaven. Hallelujah. He is our only source. He is an infinite God who does not slumber or sleep. When he draw all men to himself, it means we will be with him for everlasting life. Hallelujah. When he draw all men, that is Christ, there will be no tears wherever we will be with him. He will wipe away our tears. There will be no death or sorrows and no crying or no more pain. As the book of Revelation 21 verse 4 said, when Jesus Christ draw all men to himself, that means we will worship, hallelujah, him all, all the time, like it is done in heaven, hallelujah. Beloved, this is my question. How can we all be drawn to Christ, like he said? There is a rule we must follow. That means this, our temple, must be holy, sanctified with righteous and holiness. We must repent from our sin. Two, we must love our Lord with all our heart, our soul, and our mind, and our strength. There shall be a joy. And we must love our neighbor like ourselves. That's a relationship and fellowship on daily basis. We must forgive one another and love one another. We must pray fast and worship and thank God all the time. The Holy Spirit can help us to do what the Lord is telling us in John 12, 32, that he will draw all men to himself. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for the great promise and may his will shall be done. We thank the Lord Almighty Jehovah, Yahweh, Olam, as his faithful God that live forever and ever. May the Redeemer bless and protect 
his servant, Prophet Kenne, and the family for winning souls for our lost kingdom. Hallelujah. That is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I take this opportunity. May the Lord strengthen his viewers and the listeners that avail themselves daily to listen to the prophet, the end time prophet. May they, whatever they desire in their hearts, may God, the almighty Jehovah, grant them their peace and also their strength and also their request be met in Jesus' name. We thank the Lord for his message. Now unto him, the king, who is able to do it, and suddenly, abundantly for us, be praised forever and forever. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen.